Hey guys, it's Dirk Libby, Cinema Blend's associate editor and resident game nerd. And when I heard that the guys that made Avengers Infinity War and Avengers Endgame were joining up with Netflix to create a series based on a hugely popular trading card game, well, I just had to come tell you all about it. But before I do, be sure to like and subscribe to Cinema Blend so you can stay up to date on projects like these. So let's get right into it. For those who don't already know, Magic the Gathering is a tabletop and online trading card game that consists of players going head-to-head -head by building decks full of creatures and magical spells and battling it out. And now, we'll get to see some of those creatures and spells brought to life, as Joe and Anthony Russo have signed on as executive producers for an animated series at Netflix based on the game. Details on where they'll take the story or the cast involved have yet to be announced, but we do know some of the creatives involved. Henry Gilroy, who's worked on a number of Star Wars animated projects, and Jose Molina, whose recent credits include The Tick and Agent Carter, will both act as lead writers and co-executive producers. Between the two of them and the Russos, this series is already off to a good start, but you might be wondering what sort of storytelling could come out of a tabletop card playing game. I'm happy to tell you, Magic the Gathering actually has a long and surprisingly deep storyline throughout its over 25 year history for the series to potentially draw from. Now, I'm not going to sit here and catch you up on 25 years of story, but I will clue you in to a few key aspects of Magic's expansive world, and hopefully you'll leave here just as excited as I am to see it come to life. The easiest way to describe the world of Magic the Gathering is to think of it as a multiverse. Instead of the story taking place simply within one universe, Magic takes place in several different universes, each one containing different characters, creatures, magical items, and magic users. In Magic, these universes are called planes, and the most powerful beings within them are called planeswalkers. As the name implies, these beings have the ability to travel between the different planes of existence. And these planes offer up a virtually endless amount of opportunity for storytellers to do their thing, from worlds that feature dinosaur-riding pirates, to vampires, to literal gods. The Russos and their team could do just about anything. Over the last two decades of magic storytelling, these planeswalkers have allied together, as well as done battle against each other. There are heroes and there are villains, each with their own unique personalities, styles, and abilities. Each new set of cards released has told a new story, and the larger world of Magic the Gathering has evolved like any other fictional universe, like, say, the one from Marvel that the Russos just brought to a climactic conclusion. I do not want another single pop culture reference out of you for the rest of the trip, you understand? While little has been revealed about the premise of the Netflix series, we do know the new show will involve the creation of an all-new storyline, as well as expand on the stories of the Planeswalkers. This means we'll likely see characters and worlds that Magic the Gathering fans already know brought to life, as well as potentially seeing entirely new worlds created. Certainly, for fans of the card game, seeing favorite characters and locations brought to life has the potential to be amazing. But even if you've never built a magic deck in your life, there's still a lot to look forward to if you're a fan of high fantasy and worlds of magic and adventure. We'll certainly be keeping our eyes on this new project as it develops, so be sure to like and subscribe to Cinema Blend so you'll stay up to date on this upcoming series.